we're thrilled to see the Canadian philanthropic climate change in so many powerful ways for us as people who work with young people. About 15 years ago, young people were the least likely to volunteer per capita in the country, and now they're the most likely to volunteer per capita in the country. So we've seen a dramatic reversal in terms of youth engagement on these issues. I think there's a great democratizing of the process of helping to change the world, whether that be the Obama effect most powerfully in America, but even here in Canada, the Stephen Lewis mothers, uh, grandmothers to grandmothers, the Zainab Salbi Women for Women, or as we see it in Free the Children, where the most typical donation we receive is about eight dollars. That adds up to millions of dollars, but it's a student in Canada connecting with a peer overseas. In addition to the democratization that's happened, I'd say one of the other big shifts in philanthropy is the broadening of the definition of what it means to be philanthropic. The, at the root of the word, it means lover of humanity. It, it truly has nothing to do with money. You know, we think of Bill Gates, we think of Buffett, we think of these great philanthropists of our time, but I think most charities vastly undersell ordinary people's potential to change the world.